is my is my screen visible yes sir yes sir but uh, it says uh, uh, i mean not visible but anyway now it's visible right now i'm going to the next slide what is image right yes sir i think maybe if they pin their uh, your screen to theirs i think it will be permanently visible the participants you can pin a uh, sir's uh, presentation so that uh, you can see it immediately on your screen um now what is visible to you now it's uh, is the uh, P, i mean uh, the pdf slide i just wanted to confirm because if i switch between yes. slides yes sir it is what is an image that is what that is seeing. the only slide right uh, you are not seeing anything else no sir no sir okay okay now that's the okay so um, dear participants um, uh, first of all i thank you for choosing to learn uh, through this uh, uh, one month long uh, kind of a certificate course from um, conducted by sir so it is very interesting that you know people are uh, uh, very keenly interested to learn programming skills through matlab so i mean uh, for an engineer uh, to be uh, you know kind of a good learner um, uh, one should pick up a good programming language and then um, i mean do any anything that you read in a class uh, and uh, you know uh, convert into a program and probably see the uh, results of the results of them and then learn through that so i mean seeing is believing you all know right so uh, you have to see the result of uh, 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 for example any algorithm or any uh, you know uh, steps that you read to convert one to the other uh, if you simply use those uh, uh, you know equations um, i mean matlab is a very good tool to convert um, any equation to uh, for example a programming code and then you will be able to understand uh, uh, you know the result of that through which the understanding of any concept will be very easy right so that is why uh, uh, any concept to learn that should that should really be programmed and uh, seen um, anyway uh, this is the um, uh, topic that we have taken we have uh, going to introduce to you a uh, kind of um, uh, 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 um, you know the topic today that's called image processing some of you are familiar some of you are familiar i don't know if some of you are familiar maybe it's kind of a repetition for some of you who are not familiar this may be a kind of a refresher as sar told so um uh, for example now one second i'll just try to right so uh, uh, image you know um, computers uh, can only manipulate digital images you all know right so digital image as i told as i as a kind of a, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, input to any processing that we are going to see a digital image will will be something like this it's all a kind of numbers right so you have to manipulate this numbers uh, i of u comma v u comma v represents the positions of uh, the pixel for example so this is one position there is another position u moved by uh, you know this up by one position then probably v remains the same then you get this uh, you go from here to here so it is um, u u minus for example if it is a previous row then it is u minus 1 this is the same row then it is u right so it's the next row then it's u plus 1 so you can i mean independently capture any uh, you know, for example, value of this array, which anyway called as a set of intensity values. So a person image can now uh, be simply be put into some numbers, and these numbers are subjected to uh, you know subjected to certain manipulation. So this manipulation is we want to call it as processing. Number manipulation is what very simple. You know, you change one number to the other, change the position of the number to this to somewhere else, okay, or modify this number into some other number. Now, each number, uh, you know, a, a cluster of these numbers will, uh, if you reinterpret, it will see a different image, right? So this image has these numbers, array of numbers. Now, if a manipulated image might have a modified image. So the image processing looks very simple to us. So, so I mean, that is why, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, today uh, we, we have a number of systems that uh, works on image processing. Okay, so um, we, we, I mean, today, uh, what happens is uh, there are a lot of developments uh, in in uh, in image processing. We call it as computer vision. You know, the broad topic of uh, imaging is what is called.